From plowing a field with a team of horses to now having a tractor that can practically run on its own, farming has changed a lot through the years. But all of those advances in technology also expose us to different risks, and that includes possible cyber attacks. As Tom Hansen shows us in tonight's Eye on Land, students and faculty at DSU are working with a large ag manufacturing company to make sure hackers can't mess with the vital ag equipment. Modern farm equipment has come a long way from the tractors our great-grandfathers used. No one knows that better than Jeff Bloom, who's been involved in this family-owned implement dealership his whole life. You know, we need to be able to protect this three-quarters of a million dollar piece of equipment against someone being able to disable it from a world away. And I think, you know, that's what DSU and their cybersecurity is doing for us at Case IH. At the Mad Labs building on Dakota State University's campus, teams of faculty and students are working with Case New Holland to protect the computerized farm equipment. Just like many of our vehicles that use now cars and things like that, they are going to have a computer inside. And like any computer, if you can gain access to it, then you can get control. When Russia invaded Ukraine, all of a sudden it became this huge question of like, what happens to wheat production? How do we go about harvesting these things? If an attacker is able to shut down some equipment, even for a couple of days, that can become extremely problematic on the harvest side of things. Mark Spanier and Austin O'Brien are associate professors working to help protect farm equipment. Spanier says bad actors could disable a piece of equipment or do something more nefarious, such as messing with the brakes or causing a sprayer to apply too much chemical to kill off a crop. The students don't have a half million dollar tractor in the lab, but Case IH has provided them with the next best thing, the guts. If you even look over here, you can see we've actually have portions of a tractor. So it's one of these, when we bring people into the lab, sometimes we have essentially kind of the full CAN bus environment set up over there. And people come in and we're like, hey, here's our tractor. And people often are just like, that, that doesn't look like a tractor. And it's like, well, those are the technical guts inside of that tractor. And at least from the security side of things, that's the part that we're really caring about. The teams must imagine how a hacker would attack the computer in the farm equipment, then come up with ways of preventing it. They're also working on detection and how to get rid of malicious information once it's uncovered. Part of the reason why it's so important to be able to protect all that information as the farmers are going through the field and... Um, creating these maps, they, they, they own that data, and that data needs to be protected. But the amount of information that they put in this monitor is, is mind-boggling. It's like a mini computer. O'Brien says the partnership helps both the students and the manufacturer. Students get this real-world experience where they're working with a company, kind of a research and development type role, and then these companies definitely, you know, are uh, getting a lot out of it, you know, trying to help their equipment, uh, make sure that it's also, you know, either it's secure or learning what vulnerabilities there could be. As word gets out, we can expect more manufacturers to reach out to DSU, which translates to more opportunities for students to get that all-important hands-on experience. Having the young talent come out of South Dakota and having them work right here in Madison is so neat. In Madison, with Eye on Kelloland, I'm Tom Hansen. A representative with CNH, uh, the parent company of Case Tractors, often travels to Madison to work with the students.